Hey everyone, it's Madeline, and this video is all about what to expect when traveling to Savannah, Georgia. Savannah is known as the Hostess City because this city is full of Southern hospitality, but there are a few things we think you should know before heading out on your trip. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Our subscribers help shape our future adventures. If you're a first time visitor to Savannah, stick around until the end of the video and we'll talk about our must do's for your first time in this amazing city. Let's get started. Know before you go, Savannah is one of our favorite cities to visit. That's because the food, atmosphere, and weather all come together to create an incredible city. Savannah is a city that you can visit all year round. Although summers in Savannah get pretty hot with temperatures in the 90s, but spring and fall have warmer temps as well without the same humidity. Winters in Savannah are also pretty mild with temps in the 60s during the day. So there really doesn't seem to be a bad time to visit. Savannah is a city made up of town squares and that makes the layout of the city unique. The architecture of Savannah is an enjoyable sight to take in and it's the real star of the show while visiting. Savannah allows the possession and consumption of an alcoholic beverage on the street if it is in an open plastic cup of not more than 16 ounces. This makes Savannah a great location for a girls weekend or a bachelorette party. Just remember to drink responsibly. Savannah is located 30 minutes from beautiful Tybee Island. So if you want a city and a beach vacation, Savannah is a great option for you. Forrest Gump was filmed in front of Chippewa Square. But you should know that there isn't an actual bench where he sat. Things to do. Trolley tour. While it's touristy, a trolley tour is a quick and easy buzz around Savannah to see all the different architectural styles in this historic city. There are several companies that offer tours through the historic districts of Savannah, and many of them have hop on hop off options. Biking tours are also a great option for exploring the city. Wormslow Historic Site. Located 15 minutes from the historic district is the Wormslow Historic Site. Driving down the incredible live oak lined entrance into the park makes the entire visit worth it. This is a very popular spot for photos. And when you Google Savannah, images of Wormslow will undoubtedly show up. There is a museum and old homesteads on the property to learn about what life was like in Georgia in the 1700s. There is a $10 fee to enter the property. Cathedral Basilica of St. John the Baptist. Visit the oldest Catholic church in the state of Georgia and marvel at the beautiful architecture. You can take a guided tour or simply pop in for your own self-guided experience. Having visited a number of historic churches in Europe, we can definitely say that this one measures up to old world standards. Forsyth Park. Forsyth Park covers 30 acres in the heart of historic Savannah. The beautiful park has amazing oak trees covered in Spanish moss and the iconic fountain is a great spot to take a family photo. There is ample parking around the park and it's a wonderful place to take a stroll in the morning with coffee or in the afternoon after a tasty lunch. Eat Southern food. Speaking of tasty food, Savannah is one of the top food destinations in the United States thanks to a mix of elevated down-home Southern food and coastal cuisine. Some of our favorites include the Old Pink House, Collins Quarter, and Alligator Soul. If you're looking for a unique Southern dining experience, then Mrs. Wilkes Dining Room is the place to be. You'll have to wait in line, but this family style Southern feast is well worth the wait. Eat sweet treats. There are some amazing sweet treats in Savannah, and we don't think you're allowed to leave the city without making a stop at Leopold's famous ice cream shop. We also like to stop at Lulu's Chocolate Bar for some tasty sweet treats. Last time we had their cheesecake and a freshly baked chocolate chip cookie. Visit Tybee Island. Just 30 minutes from Savannah is Tybee Island. The beach here is so beautiful that it was used as a filming location for the Baywatch movie starring Zac Efron and The Rock. You can stop at a beach bar for a beverage and explore the Tybee Island Lighthouse. Tybee Island is one of the reasons we love Savannah so much. We can enjoy the city, but also spend an afternoon out on the beach. Take a ghost tour. Savannah is said to be one of the most haunted cities in the United States. The combination of historic mansions and Spanish moss covered trees makes Savannah a popular spot for a spooky journey through history. There are a number of companies that offer ghost tours. You can even take a tour of haunted pubs. Go antique shopping. Naturally, a historic city like Savannah would be flush with incredible opportunities to do a little antiquing. 
We popped into a few shops in the River Street District as we explored that iconic area. Juliet Gordon Lowe Birthplace. Juliet Lowe is the founder of the Girl Scouts and you can visit her birthplace right in the heart of downtown Savannah. The museum is a place to learn about the woman who started the first Girl Scout troop back in 1912 and what the organization has grown into today. River Street. River Street is the place to be for great meals, shopping, and just walking along the Savannah River with a drink in your hand. You get great views of the Savannah River and the Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Where to stay? There are several great options for where to stay around Savannah. Chances are you'll want to stay in the historic district in order to take in all that the city has to offer. There are a few neighborhoods to consider. River Street. In the northern part of the historic district, you'll find the River Street area. This will give you lots of options for hotels as well as dining and shopping. Many boutique hotels line this area, including the River Street Inn. Newer hotels have recently sprung up in this area, including the JW Marriott and the Alita Hotel. This will be a busier area and a bit on the touristy side. We stayed at the Thompson Savannah, just a few minutes east of River Street. If you'd like to see what the Thompson Savannah is like, we'll link our walkthrough video in the description below. Southern Historic District. Staying in the southern part of the historic district, closer to Forsyth Park, will give you all the Savannah vibes you're looking for. Hotel options become more limited the farther you get away from River Street, but here you can find bed and breakfast and vacation rentals. Tybee Island. If you're craving a beach vacation, then Tybee Island is the option for you. They have several options for rental properties in the area to stay at the beach and head over to Savannah for exploring. Overnight rentals. There are Airbnbs all over Savannah, so if you're staying for more than a few days, this could be a great option for you. You can find a historic mansion or carriage house stay to complete your experience. Money saving tip. Who doesn't love saving a little money? One way you can save a few bucks in Savannah is taking advantage of the free things to do while visiting. There are free walking tours you can download, you can explore the famous parks and squares, or visit many of Savannah's art galleries. Also, while some high-end meals can set you back, there are a number of restaurants that won't break the bank and deliver an awesome meal, like Zunzi's. You can also spend a day on the beach in Tybee for just a small parking fee. Parking is pretty easy and is just around $2 an hour. As I mentioned at the start of the video, we'll now discuss our must-dos if you're visiting Savannah for the first time. So what would you recommend to someone who's never been to Savannah before? For your first time in Savannah, definitely bring your appetite. It is one of the best food cities in the United States. The Southern food is as good as anywhere you're gonna get in the South. And you're gonna have amazing meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you leave Savannah five pounds heavier, that's okay. Work it off. It's that good when you're there. In fact, just talking about Savannah, I kind of want to go back and eat some more food. I would say you should take some time to really take in the architecture of the city. Savannah is a beautiful city with a lot of old historic architecture, a lot of old historic buildings and mansions. I think either booking a trolley tour or a guided walking tour is a great way to really explore different areas of Savannah. Or you can do it on your own and just kind of plot out your own walking tour. Taking some extra time to learn a little bit about the different neighborhoods and the architecture is just going to enhance your experience that much more. If you want to see more from our adventures in Savannah, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one.